thousands of years ago, a group of humans made a choice that would ripple through history and forever alter our genetic makeup. These ancient pioneers decided to venture into a foreign land where they encountered another species, Neanderthals. What unfolded was a meeting that shaped the lineage of nearly every person alive today. In a groundbreaking revelation, scientists have successfully sequenced the genomes of several humans who lived in Europe between 42,000 and 49,000 years ago. These ancient humans are believed to have belonged to the earliest known group to diverge from the European migration lineage and were among the first to interbreed with Neanderthals. Europe during the late Pleistocene, or between roughly 126,000 and 11,700 years ago, was a very different place than it is today. It was a world of glacial advances and retreats, it was a landscape inhabited by megafauna, like woolly mammoths, and most importantly, by Neanderthals. Neanderthals are our closest extinct human relatives, and had been living in Europe for hundreds of thousands of years, adapting to the harsh Ice Age conditions. Their robust build, prominent brow ridges and specialised tools are well documented in the archaeological record. The arrival of modern humans, or Homo sapiens, in Europe marked a significant turning point. These newcomers carried with them new technologies, behaviours and, of course, their own genetic heritage. The encounter between modern humans and Neanderthals is a subject of intense scientific interest. We know from genetic studies that interbreeding occurred and left a lasting legacy in the DNA of all present-day non-African populations, who carry approximately 1-4% to Neanderthal DNA. However, the details of these interactions, the timing of the admixture events, and the genetic makeup of the first modern human pioneers in Europe have remained largely elusive. This is where the discoveries at Ranis and Zlati Kun become particularly significant. The story begins at two key sites Zlati Kun in Czechia and Ilsenhöhle in Ranis, Germany. Zlati Kun yielded a nearly complete skull of a woman who lived around 45,000 years ago. Previous genetic analysis had been conducted on this skull, but without a clear archaeological context, its significance remained somewhat ambiguous. The Ilsenhöhle cave in Ranis, located about 230 kilometres from Zlati Kun, presented a different kind of puzzle. This site is associated with a specific archaeological culture known as the Lincombian Renissian Jersmanovician, or LRJ. This culture is characterised by distinctive stone tool technologies and dates back to approximately 45,000 years ago. The crucial question was, who created these tools? Were they the work of Neanderthals, the established inhabitants of Europe, or were they crafted by the newly arrived modern humans? Previous research on fragmented bone remains from Ranis had analysed mitochondrial DNA, or mtDNA which is inherited solely from the mother. These analyses confirmed that the remains belonged to modern humans, not Neanderthals. However, mtDNA represents only a small fraction of the total genetic information, and this leaves many questions unanswered. The recent study published in Nature took the research to a new level by analysing the nuclear genomes of the 13 specimens from Ranis. This analysis revealed that the remains represented at least six individuals, including a mother and daughter and other related individuals. The team also conducted further sequencing on the Zlati Kun school, obtaining a high-quality genome. The most remarkable finding was the discovery of a close genetic relationship between Zlati Kun and two of the individuals from Ranis. This revealed that they were part of the same extended family, strongly suggesting that the Zlati Kun individual was also associated with the LRJ culture. This finding finally provided the crucial link between the archaeological evidence, the LRJ tools, and the genetic evidence, the modern human remains. One of the bones from Ranis, designated Ranis 13, was exceptionally well preserved. This allowed researchers to obtain a high quality genome, making it one of the best preserved modern human genomes from the Pleistocene. Combined with the enhanced Zlati Kun genome, these represent the oldest high-quality modern human genomes sequenced to date. Analysis of the Ranis-13 and Zlati Kun genomes provided valuable information about the physical characteristics of these early Europeans. They carried genetic variants associated with dark skin, dark hair and brown eyes. 
Furthermore, by analysing shared genetic segments, the researchers estimated that the population to which these individuals belonged was relatively small, likely consisting of only a few hundred individuals spread across a wider territory. This suggests a small, mobile group navigating the challenging landscapes of Ice Age Europe. Perhaps one of the most surprising findings was that this early European population appears to have left no direct descendants in present-day populations. This indicates that this particular lineage either went extinct or was assimilated by later waves of human migration into Europe. The study also shed new light on the timing of Neanderthal admixture. While previous research had suggested a broader time frame, the analysis of the Ranis and Zlati Kun genomes allowed researchers to narrow it down significantly. The Neanderthal ancestry present in these individuals originated from the same admixture event that is found in all present-day non-African populations. By analysing the length of Neanderthal DNA segments in the Rani's 13 genome and using radiocarbon dating, the researchers placed this shared admixture event between 45,000 and 49,000 years ago. This finding is crucial because it implies that around this time, a single, coherent, ancestral non-African population must have existed before further dispersal and diversification across the globe. The sequencing of the Ranis and Zlati Kun genomes represents a major breakthrough in our understanding of early human migration into Europe. These findings paint a picture of a small, isolated group of pioneers who arrived in Europe around 45,000 to 49,000 years ago, carrying with them the legacy of a shared Neanderthal encounter. This group, associated with the LRJ culture, represents the earliest known divergence from the ancestral population that ultimately populated much of Eurasia. While this lineage appears to have left no direct descendants in modern populations, their story is crucial for understanding the complex dynamics of early human settlement in Europe. This is just one piece of a much larger puzzle, however. The story of early human migration and interaction is complex and ongoing. As technology continues to advance and more archaeological sites are explored, we can anticipate even more groundbreaking discoveries that will further illuminate the journey of our ancestors. We can expect to learn more about their social structures, their adaptations to the environment, their interactions with other hominin groups, and ultimately, the reasons for their disappearance from the genetic record. So, stay tuned for more exciting developments in this field. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this exploration into the past, please subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into human history and scientific discoveries. See you next time.